Hello everybody and welcome back to Bee Pharma Wise. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important chemical reaction which is specifically performed for alkenes. Today we are going to talk about ozonolysis of alkenes. Now what is ozonolysis, how the reaction is carried out and uh, what are the applications of this reaction, everything you will learn in this video. So ozonolysis. So we are going to use ozone as our reagent in this video and we are going to carry out this reaction on alkenes. So alkenes are going to be our substrates. So let us take an example. I have CH2 double bond CH2 which is my basic alkene called as ethene. Now what I will do, I will add ozone in this alkene. Now where this ozone or three oxygen atoms will be added, they will be added against the double bond. What are the conditions we have to go in with a neutral or you know inert solvents like carbon tetrachloride and they, in this inert atmosphere this ozone will be added against the double bond in alkene. How this ozone will be added? Just observe it. I'll, I'll be breaking this double bond and instead of these two bonds, instead of these two bonds, what I will do is I will create something like this. O, O and O. Just see how I have drawn this structure. This particular structure where the ozone molecule has been added against a double bond is referred as ozonide. Ozonides are extremely unstable. They are explosive compounds so they will not be isolated. So again in the next step what we are going to do is we'll be breaking down this ozonide. We'll be reducing this ozonide to form carbonyl compounds. So let's see how. So I'll, I'll take that same ozonide which will be referred as ethene ozonide because it is formed from ethene. So this is ethene ozonide. I'll take that ethene ozonide and just observe how I'm doing it. Okay. I will leave uh, alone this oxygen. I will leave alone this top oxygen and I will draw two lines like this just for the sake of simplicity. Just remember this reaction uh, like you know in this way so it becomes very very easy for you to remember during while you're writing it in exam so just observe how i have done it then what i will do i will take reducing agent like zinc and i will use water as my medium okay so ultimately i am going to reduce this particular ozonide so this ozonide i have taken and in presence of zinc, this particular structure will undergo reduction. Now what will be formed? Purposefully, I have drawn these lines. So whatever is on this side of the line will form one molecule. So here I will get CH2O. Now as I am breaking these two bonds, obviously carbon oxygen will form a double bond here. So what I will get? CH to double bond oxygen as one molecule again here also i will get ch2 double bond o because i'm breaking the molecule from here okay so i will get another molecule of ch2 o now you must be wondering what is this this is nothing but h c h o which is our formaldehyde molecule right HCHO, CH2O, formaldehyde, two formaldehyde molecules I have got. Now what about this oxygen, this top oxygen, it will combine with water to form hydrogen peroxide. As a simple as it sounds, ozonolysis is a reaction which combines formation of unstable ozonide by addition of ozone into an alkene in presence of inert solvents like carbon tetrachloride and subsequent breaking down or subsequent reduction in presence of zinc and water to give to form carbonyl compounds and hydrogen peroxide. So these carbonyl compounds will actually be helpful in deciding which alkene molecule we are dealing with. 
actually ozonolysis is probably the best method for you know deciding the position of double bond in unknown alkene compounds i i'll take one example and i will explain what i'm trying to say so uh, let's take an example of say um, let us take an example of say ch3 ch double bond ch2 this is nothing but our propene molecule now i will carry out the same ozonolysis reaction just observe carefully so i will add ozone along with inert solvent and this ozone will be added against the double bond here so what i will get ch3 as it is then ch as it is and instead of double bond what is ch2 as it is instead of double bond i will form this structure one oxygen second one and the third one so i have got this ozonide now in the next step this ozonide i'll reduce in presence of zinc and water so what i will get see observe this very carefully and you will come to know what i am doing i am just drawing these lines so that it becomes so simple for us and then in presence of zinc and water i will put this portion as first molecule ch3 ch double bond or oh, don't forget to put a double bond here between this carbon and oxygen so what i will get ch3 cho okay this is my first molecule i'll write one here the second molecule will be ch2 double bond o means h c h o right so formaldehyde molecule will be my another molecule this will be my second molecule and then uh, this oxygen will form h2o2 now how i am going to predict the position of double bond in unknown alkenes what i will do i will carry out ozonolysis suppose i don't know this structure okay what i know is after ozonolysis i have derived these two structures so what i will do i will find out the carbon which is oxygenated here this carbon is oxygenated here this carbon is oxygenated and i will just blindly put a double bond combining these two so what i will get you know ch3 then ch here i have to write this molecule as okay nothing special i have just rearranged it so that it it becomes simple so this carbon and this carbon we have to join using a double bond as you can see we have formed something which is our substrate so ozonolysis can actually help us predict the unknown alkenes i'll give you another example just pay attention i'll give you two carbonyl compounds uh let's say suppose we have ch3 c double bond o ch3 which is our acetone and i'm having uh, let's take an example of uh, okay let's take an example of acetaldehyde ch3 cho so acetone and acetaldehyde are the two carbonyl compounds which i got after carrying out ozonolysis on an unknown alkene and i want to figure out which alkene is that so what i will do i have taken these two carbonyl compounds i'll figure out which carbon is oxygenated and i'll just put a double bond between those two carbons so this portion will remain unchanged this portion will remain unchanged and where these two oxygens are there i'll just put a double bond now you are not sure whether it is correct or not let's carry out the ozonolysis of this compound and find out whether we get these products or not so let's start i am taking ch3 c ch3 double bond ch ch3 this is nothing but 2 methyl 2 butene or 2 methyl but 2 in now if i carry out ozonolysis ozone will be added against the double bond so what i will get ch3 then c ch3 as it is then for this double bond what i will get i will just write this portion also and then we will draw this oxygen one more oxygen here oxygen here oxygen here okay so this is what we have got now in second step we will draw these lines and we will split the molecule so what i will get ch3 c ch3 
double bond O. This will be my first molecule and CH3 CH double bond O. CH3 CH double bond O will be my second molecule. Just check this is acetone and this is acetaldehyde. So now I hope you have understood how we can use ozonolysis to predict the position of double bond in unknown alkene compounds. That is why this reaction is very important. I hope you understood. Let me brief you one more time. Ozonolysis is a reaction. It is a two step reaction where in the first step addition of ozone occurs in presence of inert solvents like carbon tetrachloride to form an ozonide. Ozonides being explosive and extremely unstable will not be separated. We will immediately carry out the second step wherein that ozonide will be reduced to form carbonyl compounds and this reduction will be carried out in presence of zinc, dust and water. Now this reaction in particular will be used to predict the location of double bond in unknown alkene compounds. How? We have to carry out the ozonolysis reaction. We have to have the carbonyl products and we'll just combine those two carbonyl products where at the site of the oxygenated carbons and we'll put a double bond between them. This will give us the original substrate alkene. I hope you understood the reaction. If yes, don't forget to give a big thumbs up to the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll meet in the next video with such useful content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.